Cinema began by showing the latest film releases, starting off as small independent venues, with only one screen, that offered a welcome experience orientated by family viewing. As cinema grew, and more films were produced, there was a demand for more screenings. This resulted in multiplex cinemas such as Odeon and Cineworld being established. Sadly, as the bigger companies got more popular, independent cinemas faded away with only a few surviving. One cinema is trying to change this and bring back the independent. This cinema is the Ritz. My name's Rob, uh, I am the manager and also associate business partner for the Ritz Cinema. My name's Phil Middleton and I'm the operational manager of the Ritz Cinema. I've only been on board two to three weeks, um, but I believe the renovation has now been ongoing for 18 months. The renovation has come along a long way. It's uh, basically everywhere's painted. It's The lobby is the main area where we've it jumps out at you now. Uh, obviously we do need quite a lot of work to do in the auditorium and the roof. But uh, there's, there has been a lot of work and it's, it's, it's getting there. When they first got in here, uh, the building was a complete mess. It needed completely stripping out. A few months after they started work and had spent months with volunteers and skips and buckets clearing out all the rubble, all the old mouldy seats, all the damaged equipment, and they realised they had asbestos in the walls, which was in a way was expected. Um, but when they got the asbestos specialists in, it was literally the whole building was riddled with it. So all the plaster, all the brickwork had to be stripped right back and it pretty much took up all the funds they'd raised in the first six months of fundraising. The events do bring in a fair bit of money towards the renovations. They are basically our bread and butter, that's the main flow of uh, funding. We do have other funding through um, what we have, landfill tax we can apply for, and that's a, a separate funding that would be really helpful. But uh, we've had offers on such as sponsor receipt and patronages and that's got in quite a lot of money and it, it was a big boost. Pretty much all the money um, so far that has been spent, I think it's in excess of £200,000 has been raised in the last 18 months. And it's all come from volunteer work, um, community projects, fundraising events, crowdfunding. And there's been a campaign for, for raising money for, to buy new seating which was very successful. We already had some red cinema seating that had been installed in the main part of the auditorium uh, that was old style theatre seats that, that, that had been acquired. And then um, Pete, the, uh, the guy in charge, got wind of a cine world that was closing that had cinema seats that were up for grabs. So he put a very, very quick rough and ready fundraising campaign on Facebook saying, we sponsor a seat for 50 quid, free films for a year. You get your name on your seat and that was it, hoping that they'd raise money to get 50 or 60 seats. And in the end, they raised enough to buy 200 seats and do the whole front section of the auditorium in one go. And the community has just been brilliant. It's very important we have help from volunteers because we can't afford to pay as much with contractors. Uh, as the money we're getting in, everything we do goes straight into the cinema. So supply of materials we need to be buying. So skilled labour is, is an important resource. My role is basically come in, do some work for him, building at the minute, fixing chairs, painting, decorating, just coming out part really. It all started off and I thought oh, it would just be some sweeping or something like that hoovering up an auditorium it's all finished and whatnot and I come in and it was just like a rubble yard so I looked at the place and I thought yeah I can help out with this it's been down to me to put all the seats in and then I have to take them all back out again and put all completely new seats in so it's been a bit like yeah we've got this in but then like we had a couple of screenings and I was really proud of seeing people just sat in the seats that I fitted um, and then the setback was basically we all had to come back out and I've had to put new seats in so this is my next little project and I've got to get these seats in when we get all these seats in it'll look even better if it didn't have the volunteers here then this place wouldn't be open or it wouldn't be how it is now um, all of us that help out here are just brilliant they're just we all pitch in and we get the job done really we show normal screenings of films but we always try and make them a little bit more of an event. So we, we have people dressed up, we encourage people to dress up. We have music beforehand and after, and after show parties. 
We attended a steampunk themed event with music from steampunk rapper Professor Elemental. We asked guests of the show what they thought of the Ritz and if they would rather view a film at a mainstream or independent cinema. It's, I, I think it's very beautiful looking and I like how it's got the old architecture as well. It's, uh, it's very nice. I, I like how small it is as well because I think it's more homely as the smaller it is. Makes it feel kind of unique, as if it's kind of it's, it's, it's out of the way from everything out there. Yeah. And it just kind of pushes you back in time sort of thing. Well, this is the first time we've actually visited the Ritz, so we haven't seen inside the cinema yet. We're really keen to see that sort of theatre yeah. part of it. Um, so looking forward to tonight. I really like it. Uh, it's the sort of a classic aesthetic that I, you know, you don't see very much these days. I really like. Um, well, it's my first time here, and um, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, but it's it's amazing. It's um, it's it's really colourful. It's really friendly, and um, it feels like a really nice envi environment. Um, I'm not sure what's happened tonight, but I, I have a funny feeling I'm going to enjoy it no matter what happens. It's amazing. Yeah, it's kind of surpassed my expectations in terms of the fact that it's, it's really lovely. You can see how it's going to be in the foyer a bit, and obviously there's still work to do through there. But I quite like that, because it's kind of like seeing behind the curtain at the cinema. You can kind of see all the magic sort of waiting to happen. It's lovely. I'd rather go to a local theatre that has an, an atmosphere and some history about it than yeah. the modern cinema, yes. If I came to watch the film, yeah. I'd go to a normal cinema. If I came to enjoy the experience of watching a film, this place much better. Because this place has this place is a family. Instantly, I can feel that, and um, yeah, it's 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 not you, you don't just come here to watch movies. I think you come here to experience a film and all that comes with it. It's not even a question that, is it? Of course, you should come somewhere like this. It's be a perfect place, and it's got the kind of added it's got the kind of community feel and the added atmosphere, particularly for certain films. They, and they've done it quite wisely. I think they've kind of played old films when it was first sort of first starting up. They're saying when it was all. Uh, hadn't been made up at all, they were playing like horror films and stuff, which was a great idea, perfect. The Ritz regularly hosts themed events and shows, including specialised events on the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Bugsy Malone and Harry Potter. These events reach niche audiences that are dedicated to dressing up and getting into the spirit of the event. Hopefully we will have the flexibility to show new and old films alike as we are doing now with the fundraising events and also be a live venue and a community venue for people who want to either band rehearsals, play rehearsals, anything like that. We'll have the flexibility to do what we want with the building and potentially what the community wants out of the building as well. Uh, we intend to do uh, workshops for um, young children, adults and uh, people in learning um, whereby we can teach them how films are made, they can make their own films, even film here and edit in our offices and then have the opportunity to show their films on the big screen as a showcase. A lot of people have got memories of growing up with the Ritz and that's kind of what we're aiming for. It, it was such a big part of a lot of people's childhoods that we want to bring that back and make it as close to the original cinema as possible. The Ritz to me uh, holds very fond childhood memories growing up here and then being a teenager queuing up outside. It's, it's always been here so it's been a big part of growing up for me. Now, the Ritz is a special place for me, I think, for the same reason that it is for a lot of people um, that we've spoken to through all the events we've done. They grew up with the cinema on the high street. That was the place they always went to. And a lot of people in the 80s with all the live shows that were on constantly, um, it was just a big feature of Lincoln at the time. And I think a lot of people missed it when it closed. The team aimed to have the renovation finished by April 2014. Throughout its life, the Ritz has been a special place for many people and all those involved hope it will be a special place for many years to come.